Fine. What is up, everybody? Week 16 is over. Wrapped. Big things happen in week 16. We have our biggest things. Lobsters, big thing. Week 16, dolphins. Tua Tungalova. Tua Tungai Lova. Tua T. Uh... Tua. Right, we're just, just gonna call we'll, Tua. Go, we'll go Tua. That's a stupid name. Let's start there. It's awful. All right. So, Dolphins have been waiting on this guy for years. You take him with the number five overall pick, okay? You wait a couple weeks. You let him get his feet wet. Then, you pull Fitzmagic out of the starting lineup when Fitzmagic is having a pretty damn good year. He's a top 10 QBR quarterback this year. So, you pull him. You insert Tua. I get it, okay? Do you get it? You say we're ahead of schedule. You were all for it. We're going to go ahead and put Tua in. Okay, so you put two in. If you're going to put two in, leave them in. Ride with them. Why are you pulling this guy and hurting his confidence and you're putting Fitzmagic back in? He's the closer. Tua played the Raiders last weekend. He had a hundred and so, he had 96 yards, okay? For the year, he's averaging 160 yards a game. I don't have to tell you guys, that's pathetic. We know that's pathetic. I don't have to tell you that. Not only that, he was averaging four yards per completion. He's not even looking down the field. He's looking on the the uh, the, the 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 slant routes, the drags, the drags, the, the outs, crossers, uh, flat routes out the backfield. Mm-hmm. To be fair, Tua didn't get a preseason games, and he would have had all four. Fitz Magic is a proven quality, probably the best backup in the league. Dallas fans are going to tell you it's Andy Dalton. I haven't even got to the whole point of why it's the one big thing. Let's get to the one big thing. Here's the, here's the whole thing. What's the whole thing? If Tua is going to start, let him start. Mm-hmm. Because you said he was your guy. Here's, here's why it's a problem. The actual best quarterback in this draft, the actual future of the NFL was taking one pick after at number six, Justin Herbert. There is not a person in the NFL, scout, coach, player, that will tell you they would take Tua over Herbert. Nobody. You see Herbert. He can make every throw. He's got the arm for days. Miami messed this pick up. They're, they will never say it. They messed this pick up. Don't get me wrong. Miami has a bright future. Flores is a great head coach. He's the Belichick way. They have 11 draft picks in next year's draft. They have cap for days. They have two of the top five corners in the league. They have everything you need to be a successful franchise. Here's my thought. I think Tua is not your future. I think you get a guy this year. Hot take. (laughs) Sorry. That's how I see it. He's already Josh Rosen and Tua. It was wrong before. It's wrong now. He's not good. I'm just going to say you had a choice between Tua and Herbert, and you picked the wrong one. What's your one big thing? We are talking about AAA, Ron, and how the big thing for me this week is if the playoffs go through Lambeau, that's going to be a huge problem for anyone going to Lambeau. Mm -hmm. Aaron just threw for four touchdowns in the snow, Mm -hmm. over 300 yards. Mm -hmm. No, 200 and something. Doesn't matter. 22 of 25. Had a great game throwing the ball in the snow. Guess who didn't? Ryan Tannehill. 49% of his passes. This dude's been playing great all year. He's number four on the QB rating list. So don't tell me, well, he's not used to that. He's not a top blah, blah, blah quarterback. It's going to be tough to go into Lambeau and win a playoff game. I 100% agree with you. I have been saying this year, and people have been coming at me. I've been saying Rodgers is the best quarterback I've ever seen in my life. Oh, he's going to have something to say. Everybody I was just going to say, what are you guys going to say when the Bears knock him off by a field goal, Everybody. and then all of a sudden it's New Orleans. Everything's running through the Mercedes-Benz dome. <laughs> Anything can happen. Anything could happen. This guy's 37 years old, pushing 38 years old. He's about to win his third MVP. He has the highest passer rating in history. He has the highest touchdown to interception ratio in history. Do you see the one? One Super Bowl. Is that the measurement of the greatest of all time? The fact of the matter is, 
We're not arguing goats right now. We're talking about the biggest thing I saw this week. The biggest thing I saw is that Lambeau Field is going to be a problem for anyone that goes there in the playoffs. And if you're playing Green Bay, that's where you're going in the playoffs. I want to fast forward to the 2021 offseason where Aaron Rodgers has another 35-plus touchdown year, another 110 quarterback rating year, and they have to make the decision, are we going to let this bozo Jordan Love sit on the bench three consecutive years, or are we going to have to continue starting our 40-year-old MVP quality quarterback? Green Bay, you're an idiot. You wasted a draft pick when you already have the best quarterback in the league on your roster? In Green Bay, they're going to tell you, the reason why Rodgers looks this good this year, he was bitching and whining last year, and by bringing in Jordan Love, it forced him to work hard in the offseason. He's been better than ever. I say it was Danica Patrick. He's getting a naggy old broad in his office, in his home. He couldn't handle that. He got rid of the garbage, and all of a sudden, his stats have soared. Sorry, Danica. You're from Roscoe, Illinois, but... You were bad news. Danica Patrick, bad news. Also bad race car driver. (laughs) Jesus. All right. Do you have any words of wisdom from week 16 that we should know about? I I don't have anything else for you. Uh, You guys are the show. And you guys got to watch these guys. They actually know their stats, uh-huh. but you know, Papa G gives them a little, little history to help buff their situation so they don't get carried away sometimes. Well, I thought football started in the year 2000. It did. Well, it did for you guys, <laughs> for you <laughs> amateurs. Because of the rule changes, okay. all I'm gonna tell you is Don Shula has the league he always dreamt of. His Dan Marino league is now Pass 50 times a game. That's what it's all about. Those are your week 16 big things Mm -hmm. from the Lobster QB1. You got something bigger, let us know. You got something bigger, let us know. You got something bigger, let us know. If you've got something bigger, don't let let us us know. know. (laughs) Maybe send a pig, you know. Hit me in the DMs. Hit that like, share, follow. (sighs) Great. See y'all. Ooh, baby, I like.